Back now with Brian Hayes and Jamie Noodles McLennan. Guys, we used to think it was a no-brainer. Ovi was going to break Gretzky's record, but given his slow start this year, are you still totally convinced it's just a matter of time, or is concern starting to creep in, Noodles? Uh, I think I still think it's a no-brainer. I think what we're looking at now is a length of time, where you, you mentioned slow start starting to creep in. I think we all in our mind thought this guy's just going to blow through it and continue to add to it for many years to come because he's been that durable. He's been that big of a monster. Now he's had the slow start. Father time is catching up to him. And you can see he's a power play specialist, five on five, not generating a lot. He's got a couple empty net goals as well. So I, I have no doubt that he's going to get through it. It just maybe the timeline is a little bit stretched out based on his play. Yeah, I'm with you there, Jamie. I, I think it's still a matter of time, and I think you've got to even give him some time this season. He's still on pace for 23 goals this year. A lot of players in the league would take that, but obviously we understand Not it's only. Alex Ovechkin. Of course he, he won't. But there's, there's one thing that can stop him from chasing Gretzky, and that's his body breaking down. He doesn't miss games. He still plays every night. He plays more than 20 minutes every night. And he had two back-to-back -back games where he did not register a shot on net. Since then, he's putting a ton on the net. If he stays healthy and he shoots, he will score. Alex Ovechkin will still be a goal scorer you need to be reckoned with in the NHL. Beyond his health, what about the Nick Backstrom factor? He assisted on 279 of Ovi's 827 goals. That's more than a third of his goals, and Backstrom is gone now for the year. We don't know when he's going to come back, if at all. You can't tell me it isn't going to slow him down huge, Hazel. Yes, it, it will, for sure. I mean, Backstrom's a wizard on the ice, and the two of them connected. It was like Hull and Oates, right? It was like Gretzky and Curry. Not anymore Hull and Oates, because they don't connect anymore. It, it, that's true. No, I was no. Hull, Hull and Oates. <laughs> oh, sorry, Hull and Hull Oates. And Oates, Oates, Hull and Oates. Okay, Restraining good, orders good. put aside. Let's continue yeah, to talk deal. about Ovi <laughs> and Backstrom here. But he's still playing with Kuznetsov. He's still on the top line. Again, he's playing 20 minutes tonight. But there is an integrity of pace here at play. I, I don't dispute that. I mean, there was a time where we thought this would maybe finish this season, if not next year. That likely isn't going to happen anymore. And if it gets to a point where Ovechkin is three, four years from now, and he's still not at a position where he's catching Gretzky, that's going to potentially look ugly. And that brings us to the math. If Ovi averages 30-plus a year, he breaks the record at 41, 40, 41. If he slows down, it could take him to 42, 43, doesn't that tarnish his legacy if he is actually limping to the record noodles? It does in the immediate, but let's not forget Wayne Gretzky scored nine goals his last season. I don't think it tarnished his overall <laughs> body of work. Eventually, Hayes, you've said this before, father time is undefeated. So, yes, the end product may not look great if you're limping to the finish line. But the body of work, I'm going to remember Alex Ovechkin, a dominating force, the greatest goal scorer of all time, because he's going to have that moniker. It's just a matter of time. But yes, in the immediate, watching a guy score eight goals in his last season, it's not what you want. It's not optimal, but we might have to watch that based on his production. Yeah, that, that seems like it very well could be the case. And again, I, I think that'll be an ugly look. I do. I, I hope that will not be the case for Ovechkin. As I said, there is an integrity of pace at play here with Alex Ovechkin because he has established himself, in my opinion, as the greatest goal scorer of all time. But if he looks like a contest winner by the end, that they're just pushing onto the ice, <laughs> praying it hits his stick or his shin pad or his elbow pad to go in, that will not be a good look. That is not a storybook ending no. for what has been truly an electric goal scorer since the second he walked into the league. And quite frankly, guys, I think we're kind of into that sad zone right now. Potentially, Ovechkin just two goals in October, three in November, and two of them were empty netters. That's a far cry from the guy who won nine Rocket Richard trophies.